Hi, I'm Niall from Gulfstream Boat Sales. Today we're taking a look at a Warrior 165. Uh, the boat was built in 2008. It's, um, it's a very low hours example and the condition is fantastic. She's uh, it's got a great spec, it's fitted with a Garmin GPS, uh, Fish Finder VHF radio. Um, it's got the unusual rear bench seat in it as well. So there's additional seating on board. It's got a, a tonneau cover. It's on a UK spec road trailer. It's got a 60 horsepower Mariner outboard, um, and it's it's ready to go for the season. It's uh, really well set up as a sea angling boat, or for for day cruising with uh, with kids on board. Um, and uh, yeah, the whole package is is in brilliant condition. So. What we're going to do is we're going to take a walk around the boat, I'll show you all the features inside, we'll have a look at the engine, I'll let you hear the engine running and we'll also show you how the boat performs on the water. The engine is a Mariner 60 horsepower uh, Bigfoot two-stroke. Um, it gives this boat fantastic performance. We know a little bit about uh, the setup of these because we've rigged quite a few of them in the past. And this one's done just exactly right the way it recommended by the factory. You'll notice that it's got the, uh, the wedge plate on there, on the transom. Uh, that tells me this is more than likely been a factory installation uh, because they, they recommend they put that, particularly with the Mercury and Mariner engines, they recommend use that wedge just to give a bit more trim angle so the boat planes quicker. Uh, and uh, we'll show you, we'll put the boat in the water and, and you can see for yourself that the performance is fantastic with this 60. I mean, there's enough poke to even pull water skiers behind this boat and certainly with a full complement of uh, passengers on board she'll still jump up on the plane and cruise quite comfortably at anything up to sort of 25 knots. This boat has the rear bench seat arrangement and in front of that then we've got a dedicated helm and passenger seat both of which uh, swivel on the, uh, on the seat boxes there. There's, there's loads of storage on board there's lots of deck space. You'll easily fish um, sort of four people off this boat. It's nice high gunnels. We've got rod storage uh, down the port side. Uh, and we've also got the, the cabin for added shelter and protection. This forward cabin is one of the things that makes these uh, warrior boats so popular. If it does, if the weather does turn bad uh, and say you are out with youngsters or whatever, you can put them up here out of the way. You've got lots of headroom. You can still see out there's good visibility from here. Uh, again, the cabin, the upholstery up here is perfect. We've got a little bit of storage underneath the, the port side seat. And we've also got good access out through the hatch onto the foredeck of the boat. You can get easy access to the anchor locker and the Murren bollard there as well. If you're interested in this boat and you want to see the full length review of it, where we put the boat in the water, we put it through its paces, we fire the engine up like you hear how it runs, um, then you just need to sign up for, for VIP access on gulfstreamboatsales.com. It's completely free, you just have to put in your name and email address and then navigate back to the Warrior 175 page and you can watch the full length video tour of this boat and hopefully it'll answer all your questions. So just sign up for VIP access, it's completely free and uh, navigate back to watch the full length tour. Thank you for watching.